fourth presentation, which is single equation to find HD values outside the body form in body spray neutron produced in carbon radiation therapy by D.K. Heva Dikaram and M. Roy. And the, it is presented by Mr. E. H. A. D. Heva Dikaram. Over to you. Good afternoon. <clears throat> um, here I'm going to present a single equation to find the H over D values outside the body from uh, in-body stray neutrons produced in uh, carbon radiation therapy. Uh, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to talk about, um, the importance of carbon and proton radiation therapy, uh, <clears throat> and how did I validate my results, and then uh, stray neutron dose equivalent per absorbed dose, that is H over D, uh, inside and outside the body, <coughs> and uh, the, the final equation of the behavior of neutron dose equivalent per absorbed dose in HOD as a function of location in the treatment room <coughs> for carbon-12. <coughs> uh, first, let's see uh, the, what is the difference between or the speciality of carbon and proton radiation therapy. Uh, <coughs> you can see uh, in this, uh, the first graph, uh, the green uh, line shows you uh, how uh, uh, energy delivered inside the body from uh, photons, that is uh, uh, X-ray or gamma. Right? And you can see that. <coughs> okay. uh, you can see that um, the uh, the maximum dose delivered uh, um, in the very beginning. Um, whereas, if you take uh, proton or carbon radiation therapy, uh, <coughs> you can see that it uh, delivers its maximum dose at a certain depth inside the body. And uh, you can see that also um, the, the width or the, the, the peak, uh, we call this a uh, Bragg peak, uh, it's uh, <coughs> very thin. So it's very important when it comes to the edge of the tumor, so it works as a uh, sharp uh, uh, knife. You can call it, and <coughs> uh, and uh, you can see that um, now. Let's say uh, if you take this uh, graph, uh, let's say the tumor is uh, let's say a certain depth inside the body. Let's say like 15 to 25 centimeters inside the body. Uh, <coughs> you can see that uh, uh, if you use uh, photons, uh, there's a huge amount of uh, unwanted dose before the uh, before the tumor, as well as after the tumor, you have uh, unnecessary radiation dose. But if you take uh, <coughs> this uh, carbon or proton uh, radiation therapy, uh, you can uh, spread out this uh, narrow uh, Bragg peak to the, the, the whole tumor. Right? So uh, that is uh, the main important thing. We call it spread out Bragg peak or SOBP. Right? So you can see that nicely we can uh, nicely deliver the radiation to the tumor and uh, the, the radiation dose in front of the tumor is uh, relatively uh, low. As you can see that the radiation level after the tumor is negligible. Right? So, so uh, <coughs> greater control and precision and therefore superior management on uh, target if you use carbon and proton radiation therapy and significantly reduce the damage to healthy tissues and vital organs. Um, direct action due to uh, linear energy transfer, LET. And, <coughs> in, and the other important thing is in carbon uh, uh, radiation therapy, we use C12, and the C12, uh, some of the C12 turn into C11 and C10, which is radioactive, and we can, uh, we can uh, track it using PET. So, uh, in carbon, uh, sorry, <coughs> in carbon radiation therapy, how the beam is delivered to the tumor can be monitored directly. So we don't need to do anything other. <coughs> so we can directly see. <coughs> uh, but the problem here is you can, if you look at this uh, closely, you can see that there's a fragmentation 
tail. We call this fragmentation tail. And this, uh, uh, in carbon therapy, uh, in fragmentation tail, we have uh, neutrons. Especially, uh, we, are, we are really worried about the neutrons because uh, neutrons is uh, the RBE, relative biological effect is quite high, like 20 times higher than uh, photons or gamma. So uh, scientists are really worried about these neutrons and they want to see the behavior of these neutrons and the effects of these neutrons. So in my research, uh, I'm also looking into these uh, neutrons and I want, um, uh, actually I studied these neutrons. Um, so for this, uh, I use computer simulations and you can see that uh, <coughs> these are my uh, computer uh, simulation results uh, uh, and this is uh, actual data from GSI Germany. And we can see that my results, uh, <coughs> my results agree well with the actual data. And, and at the same time, you might wonder why we do these simulations when we have the actual uh, thing. Uh, the, 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 the thing is that, so for these carbon and proton radiation therapy facilities, uh, it's very costly. You need to spend like million dollars for a facility and very few facilities around the world. So, <coughs> it's, so it's very important to do uh, computer simulations uh, before we jump into the actual thing. So <coughs> now um, in my, uh, my research, uh, from this uh, comparison, I, I know now uh, uh, <coughs> My, I'm in the correct track. <coughs> and as I told you, my, my intended was to find uh, uh, about the stray neutrons, stray neutron dose equivalent per therapeutic dose uh, inside the body as well as outside the body. So inside the body, um, uh <coughs> you can see that, uh, see this, uh, this is for proton, uh, these uh, blue dots are proton, uh, red dots are for uh <coughs> carbon 12. Uh, carbon has high neutron uh, H over D value compared to proton. And the other thing is that um, there's no relationship between H over D uh, versus the depth. So it's kind of difficult to find a uh, nice relationship between the H over D values and the depth inside the body, right? <coughs> but outside, that means, uh, the outside the body means the, in the, the treatment room, uh, um, I could see that um, it obeys power law because I, I plot this in a semi-log uh, this uh, semi-log uh, paper. Um, so I got this straight line. So I, uh, from this, I could see that uh, this obeys the power law. So um, <coughs> then uh, my target was to find a, a single equation so that if I could find a, if I can find a single equation then uh, everyone, anyone can easily like predict or just calculate or just to get an uh, idea about the H over D values inside the room. So that was my target after getting this. So I move, uh, uh, go ahead and uh, did uh, this calculation for 250 MeV per particle to 400 MeV per particle, which is, that is the normal range that they use in uh, radiation therapy uh, treatment. So. <coughs> I could uh, get this uh, straight line. So from that, I uh, could conclude that uh, <coughs> uh, I can get a general equation uh, to find out H over D values outside, uh, H over D values uh, compared to, uh, H over D as a function of location of the treatment room uh, in general. So <coughs> this is my finding. And finally, uh, uh, to conclude, carbon has a sharper Bragg peak uh, and a straight neutron uh, H over D higher in carbon treatment compared to proton. And uh, finally, straight neutron H over D obeys power law in the treatment room and simple general equation can be delivered to calculate neutron H over D values from carbon 12. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. And the paper is open for discussion now. After that high dose of nuclear physics. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Dolita. Uh, 
I just want to know uh, which energy you use for the carbon beam, carbon beam. Carbon, uh, you mean for the, the I, I use uh, energy 250, of the beam. 250 MeV per particle, to uh, 400 MeV per particle. Particles, so uh, there's a probability for the production of the neutron in the patient body or outside the tumor use? Uh, in, uh, inside the body as well as the outside the outside body. The body. So <coughs> if there is a production of neutron, there, there, as you know, we already know that uh, a neutron can pro uh, reacti uh, activate the material to r radioactive things, no? Yes. Yeah, so, if we, uh, what, uh, is it effective to use uh, carbon uh, beam the, rather than using a uh, photon beam? By, like thinking of that. Uh, well, it, it depends. So, uh, yeah. the, the thing is Cost that uh, both of them ha will have uh, uh, neutrons. Uh, the thing is that. Uh, both, no, in the medical uh, purpose, uh, we use only 15 mega electron volt, no? in the photon energy? But, but the question was whether to use proton Pro or carbon, right? No. Yeah, carbon, you, you said uh, carbon you, you use, energy is uh, 200, no? 200, yeah, 250. 250, 200, yeah. so there's a probability for uh, producing the neutron. Mm -hmm. So in the in the photon energy, uh, there's a no such a uh, production well, of... Uh, this is not photon, this is proton. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm asking. So, yeah. is it effective to use carbon carbon beam? Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I told you in the beginning. So, the, the thing is, uh, okay, the, this is the main difference. So, you can see the difference here. Because yeah. if you use photons, yeah. and uh, you have a lot of adverse compared to protons or heavy ions. So if you use uh, heavy ions, then only you can do this thing. I mean, this uh, spread out red peak thing, yeah. and uh, uh, this uh, low, uh, low dose. Uh, Surface dose, body. yeah. Yes. But if you use uh, uh, photons, this is yeah. photons, yeah. you can see that it, it, uh, uh, it gives a high uh, dose uh, in the very beginning. It, it's because of the how it reacts. This photon, it, it works in uh, uh, in the indirect effect, yeah. right? It comes and it, uh, it works with uh, yeah. uh, water, and then it uh, c uh, creates uh, uh, free radicals, and then those free radicals uh, work with the uh, uh, DNA. But in uh, for uh, the, the the carbon or protons or heavy ions, Direct. it directly acts, yes. right? So uh, that that's the difference. So so. Thin peak uh, in proton and carbon radiation therapy, where you cannot get it from uh, uh, photons. But this is uh, uh, th that is the difference. So you you cannot say um, uh, uh, you you cannot say um, uh, whether to use uh, photons or whether to use uh, carbon because the how it works is quite different, yeah. and and uh, the the effect is quite different. And on the other hand, why we cannot uh, frequently use is it's very cost. The, yes. It's very costly. Yes. So, so we cannot afford it uh, uh, by the by this. Uh, but but some in other countries they use it. And uh, the the <coughs> I think uh, I I answered your question whether we yeah is it now used for the clinical purpose uh, carbon yes coding? yes now uh, now uh, in uh, United States and uh, Germany especially and Europe yes, countries. Okay. They use this uh, now uh, because this is a new uh, new treatment method. Okay, thank you. Any any other questions? Now, as I understood, are you aiming for a low HT ratio or a high? Low. Low. So if you use carbon fourteen, uh, carbon twelve, it would be high because there are high neutrons. Is that what it is? Yes, yes. Oh. if you compare with protons. Protons, okay. Mm. But so, yes. so you are, so C12 therapy is not the, is not the therapy of, of choice. Well. Because uh, there are high neutrons. Uh, even though I said uh, uh, carbon has higher neutron dose, mm -hmm. sorry, high, higher and HOD uh, value, it's not that much high uh, compared to protons. 
so it's 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 the choice uh, whether to go for carbon or no, for proton. proton. Especially, it goes with the cost. Okay. If there are no other questions from Charles, okay. Thank you thank very you. much, Mr. Hevadikaram.